Hello students! I am Sir Mark and I'm here to teach you with your subject, Computer System Servicing. Make sure you have your pen and paper handy and let's become techie! In this lesson, you'll get to understand computer network. You will also be able to identify the types of computer network and appreciate the importance of computer network. So sit back, relax, and unlock that skills. Have you tried sending photos and songs to your classmates? Or copying files from one PC to another without using flash drive? And pondered how did it happen? Well, this topic will answer those questions. So let's go ahead and talk about computer network. Computer network or data network is a digital telecommunication network which allows nodes to share resources. In computer network, computing devices exchange data with each other using connection between those nodes. Nodes are devices such as computers, printers, laptops, or even smartphones. These data links are established over cable media such as wires, optic cables, or wireless media such as Wi-Fi. Two such devices can be said to be networked together when one device is able to exchange information with the other device, whether or not they have the direct connection to each other. Not all computer networks are the same. The network I'm using to link my laptop to my wireless router, printer, and other equipment is the smallest imaginable. It's an example of what's sometimes called the personal area network. Personal Area Network, or sometimes they call it a SPAN, is a computer network used for communication among computer devices, including smartphone and tablet, in proximity to an individual's body. The reach of a PAN is typically a few meters. PANs can be used for communication among personal devices themselves or for connecting to a higher level network in the internet. Using shared application across your devices from your mobile to your laptop is a good example of personal area network. For those who are working in an office, they are probably using local area network. Local area network is a computer network that spans relatively small area. Most often, land is confined to a single room or a building, which is typically a few separate computers linked to one or two printers, a scanner, and maybe a single shared connection to the internet. However, one LAN can be connected to other LANs over any distance via telephone lines and radio waves, and this is what we call the campus area network. A campus area network, or also known as controller area network, and sometimes they call it as corporate area network, is a network that covers educational or corporate campus that is made up of an interconnection of local area networks within a limited geographical area. Example of campus area network is our school. When admin office, registrar's office, library, or even computer laboratory are interconnected is considered campus area network because the networking equipment such as the routers and switches and even the transmission media are entirely owned by our school. Networks can be bigger than this. At the opposite end of the scale, we are talking about MAN, the Metropolitan Area Network. A Metropolitan Area Network is a network that interconnects users with computer resources in a geographic area or region larger than that covered by even a large local area network but is smaller than the area covered by a wide area network. A metropolitan area network, for example, might connect two different buildings or offices in the same city or municipality. Wide area network is a network that exists over a large scale of geographical area. A wide area network connects different smaller networks, including a local area networks and a metropolitan area networks. The internet is a wide area network that covers the entire world. But in practice, it's a network of networks as well as individual computers. 
the big difference between the internet and many other local area network, personal area network, campus area network, and even wide area network is that it's open to public. So that's another way of differentiating the networks, whether it's private or public. What are the benefits of having computer networks in office or company? You can easily share data between different users or access it remotely if you keep it on other connected devices. Using network connected peripheral devices like printers, scanners, and copiers, or sharing software between multiple users saves money. It is cost efficient and can help protect your system if you properly secure the network. Can access files and multimedia such as image, music, which you store remotely, and other machines or network attached storage devices. Networking computers can also help you improve communication so that staff, suppliers, and even customers can share information and get in touch more easily. Let's recap. Computer networks is simply a collection of computer equipments that's connected with wires, optical fibers, or wireless links. So the various separate devices can talk to one another and swap data. And computer networks are classified by range or geographical area. These are personal area network, local area network, campus area network, metropolitan area network, and wide area network. The benefits of having computer networks are we can easily share files, we can share resources, we can share single internet connection, and we can increase storage capacity. Do you have any question? Are you sure? Then let's have a quiz. Choose the letter of the best answer to the following questions. You have 5 seconds to answer. What does LAN stand for? A. Local Access Network B. Local Area Network C. Line Access Network D. Line Area Network You are correct. The answer is local area network. Types of networks are categorized by geographical area covered. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is true. Two or more computers connected together over a wide geographical area, example country or globe, is what kind of network? A. Metropolitan Area Network B. Local Area Network C. Wide Area Network or D. Campus Area Network You are correct. The answer is Wide Area Network. A network that consists of NANs and MANs are called Wide Area Network. A. True B. False. The correct answer is true. Which of the following is true about computer network? A. Collection of hardware components in computers. B. Interconnected by communication channels. C. Sharing of resources and information. Or D. All of the above. You are correct. The correct answer is all of the above. And that ends our lesson for today. If you have questions, you can leave your message to our Google Classroom. Thank you for watching. This is Sir Mark. Happy to serve.